Hello and welcome to this week's weekly update, Fourth Dimension. Uh, we'll begin with X this week. Uh, start off with the dollar index, no real change there. We've got that big, big, powerful zone above, and we've drifted lower. Uh, support down at 92.85. Euro dollar. Uh, had a positive the week before and we've sort of edged higher um, no resistance for a long way but it's really the futures ladders and we have this 116 a four point which we got very very close to so it's going to take a daily close above there to turn that chart positive and of course the dollar index negative cable negative on thursday but a pretty minor one uh, again not a great deal uh, to reference so we look at the futures um, and we've come up to a daily zone, so uh, 138.32 and uh, a minor negative there. So um, to mean that that negative is false, we need to make a daily close above that 38.32 point. Dollar yen. Uh, we've had the breakout and uh, that diamond on Thursday signaled that the uptrend had finished for now. Again, we need to look at the futures and uh, the inverse signal but there is no reference point so it's enough to uh, get out of the current positions Aussie dollar again a negative uh, on Thursday but not at any particular reference point if we look at the futures um, it came up against a, a daily level so anyone who's long uh, needs to exit key uh, again, same signal, but not at any particular level. Dollar CAD um, had some positives, but not at support, so no real reference points uh, at the moment on this one either. And then Euro Pound um, had some positives, but again, not at support. It's got to get above 84.71, which is that monthly level, uh, in order to say that uh, this break lower is false.